Hey guys, Jiggle Ash here, and I'm here with my December book haul finally. I had to get all the books together um, and get everything all situated because they're from Amazon and Book Outlet. And sorry, my lighting is going a little bit crazy because I'm actually standing up to film this video. Um, I have exciting news coming, so that will be coming up soon. Uh, but let me try to see if I can get you a better angle. Okay guys, so we're back. I just wanted to sit down instead of a figure that would be like a better. You can see the books over here. That's going to be my January book haul. So be prepared for that. There's like 35 books. There's a lot of books. Because it's my birthday. And I'm a little cray cray. Okay. I'm trying to film kind of like with my camera. Um, I've lost my tripod. We did the Bean Boozle Challenge and since then I can't find it. Um, so I'm trying to give you guys the best lighting without having the light like blind you. Which is kind of what's going on here. Um... Hopefully it's a little bit better. I'm trying to kind of block out the light. If it's not, again, I'm sorry. I have to kind of film with what I have. Um, but again, this is my December book haul. So let's get into it. These come from Book Outlet, Amazon, uh, my friend, and the book swap that I'm in. So for the book outlet, uh, they were having a sale. I think it was, well, it wasn't the one where you spend like 10 or something. Because that one I have coming. It's right over there. You'll see it. Um, this one was, I had like a $5 coupon off or something. So my order came like 10 bucks for like five, six books I think it was. Uh, two books I don't have here. One book I don't have here is Compulsion. I don't know where it is on my bookcase right now. Um, I have to find it. But the one that prompted this book haul was Want by Cindy Pond. It's... The cover really reminds me of, like, Superman, if that makes any sense. Um, but, again, it, it, it's not, but it reminds me of it. Um, this book is about, I believe, renegades and stuff. Again, I bought these books so long ago, so synopsis will kind of not be as much uh, because I really don't remember. Uh, but it's blurred by Veronica Roth, Beth Revis, Marie Lu. Um, and I saw it in Barnes & Noble. I wanted to get it for the longest time, so when Book Outlet had it, I picked it up. Then we have... Whatever Life Throws at You by Julie Cross. This is a contemporary. For some reason, I was in a contemporary mood when I ordered my book outlet order. Um, this is about a 17-year-old girl. Her life was complicated. Up, 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 upended the moment her dad returns to Major League as the new pitching coach. I guess she finds some guy. You fall in love. It's cute. I picked it up. Next one is Trust Me, I'm Lying. And this is about uh, from Mary Elizabeth Summer. And this is about a girl who I believe she works for the mafia or is in business, is in family business of racketeering and stuff. Again, I don't remember the synopsis again. I'm sorry. I will try to be better when I do my, my book haul. It's just it's been December that I hauled these books and I forgot. But there's that one. And the last one is The Devil's Engine Hellraisers by Alexander Gordon Smith. I read the first book in the Infernal in the uh, in, the Infernus series, Lockdown. That was very very good. Um, I gave my copy of this to Becky, um, so she has it. So I wanted to pick it up. It's just about the Devil's Engine is a machine from the darkest parts of history. It can make any wish come true as long as you are willing to put your life on the line. So it sounded good, and I really do like his books. So I picked that one up. Uh, letting Anna. Letting Anna go. Um, I believe this is about an eating disorder. Um, I got this off. I got this from my book swap, and um, I haven't read it yet, but I got it from the book swap, the random book thing I do every month. And then Becky also gave me, if you saw my unboxing, she gave me Stitching Snow and Partial Trilogy. I cannot find the Partial Trilogy right now. I think it's on my bottom shelf of my bookcase. But Stitching Snow is a Snow White retelling of. Um, you can tell it's like sci-fi. Uh, she said she really loved it. I haven't read it yet. Um, right now I am reading uh, Broken Prince and loving that book. So you'll definitely see my Friday reads for that. And you'll definitely see a haul for that book coming from my friend Laura for my birthday. But uh, yeah, this is a retelling. I'm thinking about maybe doing retellings in February because I have a couple of them. So I'm thinking maybe all month read retellings. We'll see how, I go see how, how it goes. Um, but that's Stitching Snow. Now on to the Amazon orders. This is The Glass Spire by Lauren DiStefano. Um, I picked up this book because I read Lauren DiStefano's uh, Wither. I didn't, finish, I didn't finish the trilogy, but I read the first book and loved it. Uh, this is supposed to be about a girl who... Um, 
She's the fourth child and the only daughter of the king of the world's wealthiest nation. She's grown up in shadows, kept hidden from the world in order to serve as a spy for her father, whose obsession with building his empire is causing a war. I believe she can she can touch people and they turn into gemstones. So that sounds really interesting. Kind of a little bit like Shadow Me. I never read Shadow Me, but I love the cover and I love the concept. So I picked that one up. Oh, and Stranded. Stranded is from Book Outlet. I, that, that's my Amazon pile. It's, it's a book outlet. It's a survival story. Um, my friend Laura got it. Um, it sees these, I think these four kids are caught in the woods and some may not survive. Um, it sounds really, really good. The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Han. Um, I read this at the end of December. I have to do a, a review for you guys for this class. I, I forgot about it, um, but I will do it. This is uh, a Scrooge um, Christmas Carol retelling. If um, Scrooge was a girl and if Scrooge never actually came good. It's her as being the actual ghost of Christmas past and how they work in Project Scrooge. And honestly, it's really, really good. I did like it. Um, I thought it was a little bit too long because towards the end I was just like, can you just get over it? Can we read something? Can I be over with? But it was all in all a good book. Then I got the reader, uh, book one of Sea of, book of Sea of Ink and Gold by Tracy Chi. I think uh, this is about, so this is a book, you are the reader, look close, there's a magic here. In Safa's word, world, world reading is unheard of, but everything changes when she finds the book. It's, it is the one thing that can save her. It's the one thing that can destroy her. And I picked this up from the library and I just like what I was reading, so I picked it up from Amazon. I picked up Amateurs by Sarah Shepard. This, um, I picked it up out of a whim because the new book came out. I forgot what it was called. Uh, but this says Case is Not Closed. Um, it's about a girl who goes and she tries to um, get cold cases of like girls disappearing and stuff uh, closed. And it sounds really, really good. Um, it says five years ago, high school senior Helena Kelly disappeared from her backyard in Debbie, Connecticut, never to be heard from again. Her, fa her family ha was left without, a without any answers, without any idea who killed Helena or why. So it sounded pretty good. I picked up Nevermore by Jessica Townsend, The Trials of Morgan Crow. I have read about 25 pages into this and I liked it. Um, it's really hard for me for a, for a middle grade. I don't, I don't understand why. It just it doesn't keep, keep my attention. Uh, but this follows a girl, Morgan, who is the unluckiest girl. Uh, she Everything that bad happens in the town, they, they, they blame her and everything. And on her... I think it's her... On her 11th birthday, she is fated to die. And this guy comes and sweeps her into Nevermore. And there's supposed to be trials that she has to do. And it sounds really good. I've heard nothing but good reviews about this. The Rains by Gregory Hertzwitz. I was on Amazon one time and I was looking for like a really um, zombie-ish kind of book. And I found this one. It says... Um, in one terrifying night, the peaceful community of Creeks cause, causes turns into a war zone. Chance Rain, his older brother Patrick, and their closest friend, Alexander, find themselves fighting off multiple attacks from infected, infected adults while other young survivors hide at the high school. Most of the kids they know have been dragged away by one once trusted adults who are now furious inhuman beings. The parasite that transformed them takes hold after people turn 18. And Patrick's birthday is only a few weeks away. Determined to save Patrick's life and the lives of the remaining kids and, and teens, the brothers embark on a mission to uncover the truth about the parasite and what they will find changes everything. It's supposed to be really, really good. Um, I heard nothing but good reviews about it when I, pick, when I saw it, so I picked it up. We got two more books. This is The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I picked this up from the library and really liked it, so I picked it up for Amazon. I am on chapter two. Again, I start a lot of books and don't finish them. Uh, this is about a, there's a gray London, a red London, and a black London. And he travels back and forth to smuggle stuff um, because only he can. Um, if you read this book, let me know if you liked it. I find it a little bit hard to get into the world, but so far it's good. My True Love Gave to Me. Um, 12 Holiday Stories by Holly Black, Allie Cardi, Matt De La Pena, 
Gail Foreman, Jenny Hahn, David Levithan, Kelly Link, Mariah McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Lady Taylor, and Kirsten White. I read a little bit of Rainbow Rowell's story and I kind of stopped reading it. I wanted to read this to 12 days leading up to Christmas, but because my house is hectic all the time, I wasn't able to. So I read about 10 pages of Rainbow Rowell's story and I was like, eh, not really into it, but I hope we'll be able to pick that up maybe sometime before next year, maybe for Christmas or something. We'll see. And last but not least is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Uh, this is a Alice in Wonderland retelling, I believe. Um, the book is beautiful and gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. Like, it's just an amazing book. Normally, I tape my covers to my book, so when I read them, you can actually see the covers. I know a lot of people don't do that. I do that. But this is one I wouldn't because I would definitely read it without the dust jacket being on. Um, but this follows... Uh, Catherine as she is a baker and um, she is trying to just have a nice bakery and stuff and then she gets thrown into this world of the king and uh, Catherine is suspected to receive the king's marriage proposal but she meets somebody else I've kind of already been spoiled on this so I haven't picked it up but I definitely do want to pick it up because I got renegades from her and that made me want to read this again this is a retelling so maybe I'll read this in my February retellings we'll see but that is my book haul, guys. A lot of books. Whew. Um, January's book haul is going to be crazy. As you can tell, there's so many over there. Um, but let me know if you read any down below, and I will talk to you guys later. All right? Bye, guys.